So, Eddie, um, how's self-isolation going? <laughs> uh, no, progressing well, mate. Um, so it's just uh, one of those things, mate. Uh, we're getting, uh, I think, of day four today, so six days to go. Good stuff. And um, two new backs in the squad, in um, Paolo Dugger and Harry Randall. Can you just explain what what it was that they've done this season that's got them into the squad from your point of view? Yeah, both have got something a little bit different about them. Uh, we've been watching Harry for a, for a long time now, or at least two seasons. Uh, he continues to develop his game uh, and he's, he's running and he's... His initiative in attack is the thing that's really caught the eye um, and really pleased with his development. And then Paolo's a bit of a, a guy we saw at the end of last season. Uh, he's got power, got a bit of an X factor in power. And we're looking for another centre that has that, centre or winger that has that. Um, and he's been consistently dynamic in that, in that it's able to, to break lines. Thank you. Hi Eddie, hi. How's Matt Proudfoot coming along and, and how's how disruptive has this been or are you able just to crack on with work as normal? Uh, well, Matt's progressing um, and hasn't been disrupted, not one iota. Um, look, you know, most of the meetings we do now is by Zoom anyway. Um, so for the next period of time, we've just continued on by Zoom. We had a coaches conference organised for this week which we've now done entirely by Zoom. Uh, in terms of the camp, I'll only miss the first day where we, where we were just going to have meetings anyway. So again, I'll be able to participate in those meetings. And, you know, as you all know, that most of the communications these days are done by Zoom. So it's been no disruption at all. Okay. And just on Carl Sinclair, he, he's in neither of the squads. So he'll come in after the Scotland game. How, how does that situation work exactly? Well, we'll judge, we'll judge his selection when he becomes available. You know, that's a judgment we'll make when he becomes available. Hi there, Eddie. Just back to, to Harry Randall. How important to have a, a very young kind of dynamic scrum half to push what your excellent established elite and, and just continue to drive standards and, and maybe also look a little bit to the future one day. Oh, it's more about good players, mate. Um, yeah, he's a good young player. Um, he'll, can, he'll put pressure on Benny Youngs and Dan Robson, which is a good thing. Um, but it's not so much the youth as factor, it's the quality of his play that's, that's the key thing for us. Um, did you have to have much talk with him, given the fact clearly Wales was an option, as everybody was aware? I'm not sure, mate. So there was no particular need for an extra discussion because of that? Um, Look, he wants to play for England. Um, we want guys who want to play for England. You know, there are a lot of players out there that have options to play for a number of countries, but we want players who want to play for England. Um, and he was no hesitation. There was no hesitation about the fact that he wanted to play for England. And Paolo Adogwu, um, it's been a fantastic rise, hasn't it? We've seen him in sevens in the Premiership, sevens, and now at Wasp, all of these tries. What, what's grabbed you most? What's excited you most about him? Oh, his ball-carrying ability. You know, he's got the ability to beat people. He's got a good sense for the line. Um, yeah. Uh, and just an enthusiastic player, mate. Very enthusiastic player. And you look at how, obviously, the likes of Elliot Daly, Anthony Watson are closing in on, on 50 caps now. Again, a similar point. Do you think, again, he's the kind of guy that can really help lift those standards and maybe get picked ahead of them? Is there, is there a decent chance of that? Well, selection's to be done. Um, he's in the squad at 28, which gives him an opportunity. Uh, in terms of the other two guys, they're both self-driven, uh, very self-regulated players. Uh, if they get the opportunity to play 50 caps, it's going to be a great achievement for them. Um, will they be spurred on by a younger guy coming in? Well, I don't think they actually need that um, because, as I said, they're self-driven players. Word on Courtney Laws. Obviously, the autumn was excellent without him, but as he comes back, a, a guy who can hopefully even give more in this this latter stage of his career now he's fit? Oh, he's a quality player. You know, he's played 70-odd test matches. Uh, he, he brings that ability to play six or lock for us. He's a dynamic ball carrier and an outstanding defender, plus a great guy to have around the squad. So um, we're delighted to have him back. Um, with a word on 28... How how hard that Jonathan Joseph and, and Jack Willis, I'll pick those two, but I appreciate there's more, how hard to have to effectively say no to these guys to be 
in your core squad after what they only did a few weeks ago for you? Well, we're so excited to have 28 players. You know, we're so lucky. Um, as I said in the press release, to have 28 players is more than we've ever had. Um, normally, we operate with 25 players. Um, so we've got 28 players. So it's a, it's a fantastic uh, testament to the good relationship between the RFU and the, and the clubs. And we're delighted the clubs have been so generous in giving us 28 players. Now, having said that, there are a lot of good players have missed out. You know, last night when I finished the, our coaches' conference at about 7.30, I had to ring about 30 players and tell them they weren't in the squad and they were all disappointed. Um, and some very good players there. So it's, it's tough, mate. But we're delighted to have 28 players.